I made Flappy Bird and Scratch without motion blocks. Watch till the end to learn how I did it. The first thing I did was the player character. I went with an arrow design because I thought it looked pretty cool in sci-fi. Next, I drew the background. I decided to do a sunset because they are easy to draw and look amazing. Now, the reason I chose Flappy Bird is because the player character moves only up and down, so it's technically possible to draw every Y value of the bird in multiple costumes. So that's exactly what I did. For every 10 increment in Y, I drew a costume. To say that this was time consuming is an understatement. Why did I choose this challenge? After finishing all of the costumes, I wrote a little script to test it out. All it does is round the Y value and changes the costume based on the rounded Y value. And as you can see, it turned out pretty well. Now, I just have to do a similar thing but with the pipes. And since the stage is wider than it is tall, I decided to draw every 20x increment just to keep it manageable. At last, the pipes were finally finished. Let's test them out. The pipes code is very similar to the bird's code just switched for the x-axis, and it will also delete itself when it hits the left of the screen. Alright, this works, but it's a bit boring to play, so I decided to add two different heights of pipes, which will have to be drawn manually. Finally, it works. There are some bugs, but it finally works. I also decided to add some polish to the game to make it look better. Alright, I'm done. I fixed the bugs and I've added a death screen and a menu screen. Here's the final product. And if you want to play it, check out the link in the description. And since you watched all the way to the end, you might like this video. And until next time, have a great rest of your day.